a while ago I made a YouTube video called uh, what is good gear like and since a lot of time has passed I kind of wanted to update it refresh some of the information and correct some information I got wrong at the start of the game all right what are the fundamentals when you are looking for equipment you want to use for your comp first of all you need to look into what comp you're playing I'm playing uh, the DPS comp as you can see I have two DPS weapons equipped that's why it says your attack if you hit the um, weapon resonance effect if you haven't seen this before if you equip two attack weapons you'll get the final damage increased by 10% and team play it's increased by 40% now that we've cleared up the fundamentals of the weapon resonant effect and the element we were using we can now go to the equipment but yeah let's go over my equipment so I'll quickly scroll through the equipment and then make comments on it All right, so what do I focus on my equipment? Let's go through one by one. Um, on the helmet, we have here flame attack, physical attack, HP, and attack. The stats that are beneficial to my DPS output, since I'm a DPS uh, comp player, are the flame attack, which is a flame damage in increase, and the normal attack. How does attack work? Attack is universal for all elements. So if you have attack, 220 attack, you will get an increase of 220 flame attack, 220 physical attack, 220 frost attack, and yeah. And also 220 altered attack, but altered attack basically takes the highest attack uh, you have overall. So as you can see here, I have 17,324 uh, flame attack and altered attack will just mirror that stat, just to make everything clear. Okay. On, the, on my splatter here, I have almost 1000 flame attack and unfortunately no additional attack. On the armor, however, I have flame attack here, which didn't upgrade and I have 400 attack, but I still end up with around 500 flame attack, if you want to see it like that. On the bracer, the same thing. I have 500 flame attack and then 435, uh, 37 flat attack. On the belt, same story here, almost 800 flame attack and 52 flat attack. On the gauntlet, however, I have very high flame attack. However, if you are looking for a uh, good gauntlet, you shouldn't focus on elemental attack. It's just that I haven't gotten anything better. So this one is a bit more beneficial to me if I run the higher flame attack. And here on the legs, I have uh, some flame attack and uh, some flat attack too and on the boots i got some crit and some attack but as you can see my crit is very low on both pieces i will need to swap these out very very soon because crit is very important in this game too so now what are the baseline stats i'm looking for so in my personal scenario every piece almost every piece has 500 flame attack in total above 500 if you calculate the flame attack additionally to the attack and that's what you want to aim for you want to if you start looking for good gear for your comps you want to make sure you keep uh everything on 500 attack at minimum so if you have the full set apart from boots and uh, the hand guards on uh, 500 elemental attack of whatever comp you're using then you can go further and say okay i will make sure every single piece has at least 600 of said elemental attack and then you'll move further and say okay now i want to aim for every piece to have 700 and then 800 and then 900 and then maybe if you're lucky you get to a thousand i mean you can see it right here on the splatter i got here i got to a thousand and one roll went into flame resistance i mean i could have gotten to 1200 easily if the last roll didn't go there so yeah it's actually possible to get there all you have to do well it sounds that easy all you have to do is farm over and over again farm spend your vitality do joint ops 
make sure to just join the highest join up as possible, claim the first chest, I guess, and uh, then move on and redo that process. And at some point, you will have some useful gear that will allow you to actually complete uh, the joint ops and claim the highest level of chest. Why do I mention claiming the last chest in uh, joint operations? As we all know, Tower of Fantasy is a um, gacha game, if you haven't noticed yet, and there is drop rates in everything, every single um, occasion in the game, whether it's claiming boss chests, whether it's making pools, whether it's farming materials, there's always a drop chance the less rare material obviously has a rate closer to 100%, but I don't think there's anything that has a 100% drop rate in this game. So, same goes with the um, gear pieces you can get from Giant Ops. Um, as you can see here, shout out to Talk Fantasy Info. It's a very great database website, and I made this uh, article here. Um, with the special fall information and the drop rate information. If you scroll down right now, the rates are here up until, if I count correctly, 6, 7, 8, exactly. Joint Ops 8, so they haven't added the um, newer ones, the Sadness Valley and the uh, Endgame. But as you can see here, the SSR armor drop chance, if you do the highest Joint Op operation, which is the one that starts with level 70, the first chest has a 1.8% drop chance, 1.85% drop chance. Compared to the third chest, which is 7.1% drop chance, it's a huge difference as you can see here. And if you chip, uh, if you use this joint supply chips, this uh, drop chance will be doubled. While editing, I noticed I forgot to mention something about the special fall. So as you can see here, special fall, 12.39%, uh, one, two, three. What does it mean? If you claim all the three chests in one joint operation eight, you will end up with a uh, drop chance of 12.39% at the last chest. Why is that? All the um, drop chances stack. So there's like a pity system and you build up the pity with the drop chances and either you get it dropped early or you get it dropped whenever you hit 100%. So if you open the first chest and you don't get it, the uh, drop chance for the second one will not be 3 point something percent, it will actually be 2.35 plus the 1.85. And same with the third chest, if you didn't get one on the first or the second, uh, it will go up to yeah 12.39%. And if you don't get something dropped on the next chest, if you re-enter joint ops, you'll still have the 12.39% drop chance and it will add the um, 1.85 on top of it and the 3.35 on top of it and another 7.1 on top of it until you get an SSR aimer. Then it will reset and will go down back to 0%. Same with the matrices and the purple and the... Um, um blue gear i think the blue ones is guaranteed at uh, joint ops 8. so you want to eventually come to the point where you can uh, complete the joint ops runs and you will then only farm the third chest speaking of it this is the joint supply chip as you can see here after you use the next three times of the consuming vitality for opening the joint operation box will double the chance of obtaining master equipment and ultimate equipment as you can see we saw the drop chance for joint ops 8 on the last chest which is seven percent now if you have the increased percentage or the double percentage with the joint supply chip one um it will rise up to 14 percent. that will increase the likelihood of you getting the desired equipment you're looking for so how does it look if you use your um, joint supply ships? You will have this little icon here. And I have a count of 29 right now. Um, double the chances of obtaining master and ultimate equipment when opening joint operation vitality boxes. If you use the chip, you can stack it up to um, a maximum of 30. So you can use um, 10 at the same time. If you're on 29 like I am right now and you use one, you will not um waste uses it will actually go up to 32 so that you don't lose anything but if you try to use another one it will block you from it it will say that you have uh, the maximum stack as you can see your stack is full cannot um use this item exactly let's have a look over my overall stats unfortunately i have a lot of flame attack which is very great 17,000 is actually pretty pretty good 
for um, the amount of money I've spent in the game. That's actually pretty good. However, my crit is very bad. You want to be able to reach 50% uh, crit at least so that on paper your every second hit should be a crit. What stat should you focus on? Obviously, you will need both at the end. If I can show you a whale account, for example, um, currently playing Frost Team, 13,000 crit and 19,000 frost attack. So yeah, for the start, make sure to focus on your elemental attack as I've done and build up your crit with the time. If you're lucky and you get a good crit piece, obviously you can use it. Um, but yeah, if you really should focus on building your base uh, damage. As if you crit, you still need the base damage to obviously have a good crit. If you don't have any good base damage, there will be no good crit. So there's no point in building it before that. I think that's it. I hope I didn't forget anything. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this, if this was helpful to you, make sure to subscribe and yeah, see ya.